Good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut, out here making a chemical transfer with my new setup. I put a new 5.3 pump in there. The other one had died, would not make prime or draw, and a new alligator clip pigtail and switch. And we're pulling from our new batch of AgroChem. And we got about a half tank so far. I have the building official from the town and my builder coming here today to review my site where the barn is going to go. And we're talking about putting it right there. You can see that stake over there by the picnic table. There'll be one bay here. That's the scout where it will be in roughly in position of the barn. There'll be a 10 foot door there. This will be the middle of the barn. And then here, all the way back to that corner, that's 30 feet deep will be a 12 foot door for my rig to go in back it in and then all the reels are going to face that way and in that back corner over there is where i'm going to have my workbench and very likely a pellet stove or a wood stove so the scout will sit here you can see how much distance i'm going to have it only takes up about two thirds of the barn and then i'll have this whole back corner over here for workshop benches over there door over here there'll be windows four windows per side right down there and it's going to be like a carriage shed so it's going to have a short roof in the front and a long slooping roof back here and the back inside will be nine feet all the way across actually i'm sorry yeah nine feet in the back corner then it jumps up and it's like 11 feet all the way to the front so the rig will more than fit the top of my bull horns on the ladder racks or excuse me, on the ladders that are on the rack is eight feet. So more than enough room. I've got professional architectural plans all drawn up, which I'll take a quick picture of here in a minute so you have a rough idea. And hopefully we get some approval here momentarily. All right, here we are. This is what it's gonna look like. We're very likely doing some kind of windows in the doors and we're talking about maybe a small window over here. Uh, that's going to depend on whether or not we put windows in the doors and how we how we like that but and then this is the side this is the side that faces my driveway and it's going to be all post and beam and you can see with the trusses how they kind of go up a little bit this point right here is nine feet in the very back so then the trusses come up here we're going to gain maybe 11 feet or so peak here is like 19 feet so nice big building it's going to be all shiplap siding just like the barn we have currently windows are going to mirror everything's going to look the same